Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I am playing Mighty Pang. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know if it's a legit version of Pang. As you can see here, all my screens are in Japanese. Uh, I'm going to pick this mode because I like the shape of the characters the most. It looks like a fox when you put all four characters together. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I am a huge fan of the Pang franchise. Um, this is one which I have got on an emulation on um, CoinOps 6 on the ah, on the Xbox, and I found myself playing this the other night just out of pure enjoyment, not not recording it or whatever, just out of the pure enjoyment of the Pang franchise, and I got very, very far indeed. Oh, not like that, you didn't. Um, for those of you, ah, oh, ball bag, take your eye off the prize for a second, and that's what happens. So, for those of you who do not know, and who are not able to discern what is going on just from taking a look at what I am doing, uh, you have to destroy balls. They cannot touch you, and all you are armed with is this vertically shooting oh god um, rope launcher there are special ropes you can get you can also freeze time and slow down time but the aim is not to be hit by the balls the balls attack you in various at sorry oh, I really do lose the ability of speech whilst playing pang um, yeah, right, uh, right, okay, I'm going to try and talk and not lose a life. So, the idea, every time you hit a ball with your rope, it pops into two, and each one becoming half as small as the ball you popped, and they bounce off into both ways, so one small ball left one small ball right and they just bounce around the screen until you've burst them all that is possibly the shittiest explanation I've ever given I do ah fuck I do hope it's kind of sort of giving you a gist of what I'm talking about now I the first time I played this I was able to do about the first six levels without losing a life and not only have I lost a life, I've lost all the lives so far. So uh, that's not good. So I'm using a continue. And because this is arcade emulation, I have unlimited credits, which is lucky. So I'm just going to spout my words out without thinking about them too much whilst trying to complete this rather awesome stage. So this Mighty Pang, it, I don't know. I don't know if I like the design of it. Right, let's go down here. I do like this level. Right, let's pop that. That should explode. I should have been able to... Ah, flip. Right, that's not how this level was meant to go. Okay, so you're meant to go down here. And... Come on. Let's pop this now. There we go. And I've managed to burst some of the blue ball. Ah. This really ain't going too well. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This game isn't at all aggravating. Right, let's try it again. Drop down here. Burst that. Oh, piss. Okay, no biggie. No biggie at all. We'll just uh, pop that through the hole. No, you won't. It's all right, I've got a fruit. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm dead. Really not going too well at all. Okay, let's continue. Thank you, no problem. These credits are all free. Down we go. Right, so I've managed to get myself a timer uh, which pauses everything, which is a very, very nice spe special indeed. Ah, uh, pop, pop, there we go. So I did need a bit of help from the special weapons there. That's all right, that's what they're there for. So that one I've got there sticks into the roof until a ball hits the rope. Okay, 
Things start to get tricky in Mighty Pang. As you can see here, I had to release the balls, but I've got a double rope, so you can see here. All right, that's not how it's meant to go, especially when you've got double rope. You're meant to be a little bit better than me. In we go. All right, let's release the beast. Okay, one, two. If you're smart with the double rope, you should be able to protect yourself from both sides. That's only if you're smart. Here we go. Here comes the tirade of balls. Tirade? Is that the word I was looking for? There we go. I feel, I feel my flow is coming to me now. My pang flow. It's level two done. Okay, stage seven. I like this level. Every time you hit the roof, you get a lot of nice bonus coins. That gives you lots of goodness. All right, let's grab that. Ah, oh, too greedy. I was trying to grab the slowdown timer. Hit the ball. It's not what we were meant to do at all. So let's release all the goodies. Let's grab that. We'll have that. That, 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 that. There we go. Clean up. Bosh. Ah. Pop. Pop. Two more. And I think I've got the sticky in the air. One. There we go. No problem. So uh, other versions of Pang. Loads came out on the arcade. Uh, and a very famous one is Super Pang. Which came out obviously on the Super Nintendo. That is possibly my favourite version. Oh my god. This one is difficult. Oh, where's he going? There he is. There we go. Good work, Jamie. It's just a case of... In you go. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's alright. I've got a force field thing. One more. Up you go. Bosh. Stage clear. Get a little time bonus as well. This is a great game for if you like score attacks. Uh, if you want to play your mates at a... Uh, score based challenge there's the timer you get four seconds or so there we go i've got loads of these oh my god that's not what you're meant to do with the timer at all jesus right let's do that again okay good stuff so far still got my shield oh, i've lost my shield of course i did because i spoke oh bollock and i've popped the top didn't want to do that. Alright, one more. Okay, let's release these bad boys up here. Job done. Don't know why they all burst. That'll do. This if you're really if you're looking for a kind of an easy way into Ooh, accident. Easy way into retro gaming. You don't know what to play. You've been told you should uh, you'll enjoy retro games, then you could do a lot worse than to start by playing Pang. Now this level is great. Every time you burst a ball, your scenery changes between a ramp and a flat surface. So it can be quite bloody annoying if you don't really, if you're not paying attention. There we go. Easy. He says, having died a thousand times already. Okay, stage 10. Let's get that, slow down, and look, we've got a gun. Pow, 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 cheaty. Two seconds left. Okay, what you can see here, a bit of a puzzle. I've got to move the steps to there. Just jump up here, down there, up here, over here. Shoot these. They all collapse. Move this Tetris piece to here. Go back down, over here. Shoot those three bits. Get the force field. Up the ladder, over here, up here, over here. Walk across here, up the ladder shoot that gap there down it goes and then we release ourselves into here and let's just fire off as many as we can in as short a space as possible pop job done so mighty pang introduces some puzzly elements idea here is to try and pop the first three balls without popping the rest of the rows so it's kind of got to judge time and uh, where you are in relation to the rest of the stage so you don't release all the balls at once by popping all of those glass shelves 
I do like this level. Ah, balls. See what I've done there? I've just put myself in harm's way. So I might as well release a few more. Bosh. Bosh. Oh. Oh, God. It's a nightmare. Alright, let's get you. And you. And a few more up top. Let's release loads of little ones. There we go. There we go. Nice and fun. Oh, shit. There we go. Easy does it. Not so good. So when you lose a life, you don't start with those little balls. You start right at the beginning of the level again, and you get to choose your power-ups. Let's grab those. Let's grab this and this. And all my timed ones went. I'm just going to release them all at once. Because I want to get through this level. Alright. Come on, Jamie. Think. Do this strategically. There we go. Get your pang flow on. Alright. Release the balls. I got a double. I got a double. There we go. So clicky, this controller. Pop, 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 pop. That's it, come to me. Couple more to go. One, two, and we'll get this bad boy at the top. Oh, hit my shield. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, what have we got here? I cannot remember this level. Let's see what these things release, if they release any goodies. Oh, shit. I remember this level now. Once you go down that hole, you're pretty much stuck. So, the idea is uh, to hold out for as long as possible. Didn't happen. Okay, so I might try and avoid popping uh, the top section for the time being. I think that might be wise. Ah! It's all good so far say good, I mean I'm absolutely terrified. This is alright. Ah, get the fruit. I think that was fruit. Shit, here we go. That's it. Good timing. Right, I think I might be able to risk it now. Let's get this one more. Let's get the prizes. There we go. Now I'm in the hole. Not much I can do. One. Two. Yeah. Stage clear. Let me know down below in the comment section if you're a fan of Pang. And if you are, which is your favourite, oh bollocks, which is your favourite version? Um, maybe you've got an arcade favourite or a home console version that you prefer. I really can't remember where these balls... Right, there we go. Come on, let's clear a space. Ah, didn't work. Okay, so I need to head over to the far right. Might need to continue now. Let's try that one more time. Uh, quick run, 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 run. There we go. Really did shit there. That's fine. And again, shit. I said one more time, didn't I? I was lying. There we go. That's it. Oh, good styles. Good styles, Jamie. Okay, I've cleared a nice bit of room there. One, two, get rid of them. Three. Yeah, last three. Oh, that was shit. Stage clear. Stage 14. 
There was one level when I was playing this last weekend. Oh god, this is the clouds. Now, the pang balls bounce off the clouds, obviously. Obviously, because clouds are bouncy things. When you've got the clock as well, please do note you can run into the, uh, the bubbles. And they will not harm you, which is nice. See, there you go. Right. Oh, sh see what happened there. Bounced off a cloud. Threw me. Absolutely wrong-footed me. Let's go. Pop as many as possible before them buggering clouds get here. Oh, and the clouds destroy my ropes. Not very good. Got to be super savvy on this one. Oh, God. Clouds are pushing me away from where I want to be. There's a force field. Need that. Definitely need that in this level. Oh, Jesus. Got a double. That's it. Come on. Backing me off into the corner. Had to use my force field there and my temporary invincibility to push my way through. So I'm going to call it a day on this video. I think, oh, this is a real nasty puzzle of this one. Um, I'm going to call it a day, probably. One more life. I'll give it one more life. Because this level does aggravate me. Right, so in we go. Let's grab our force field. And through we go. Get up there quickly before it closes. Blow all them up. Dead. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. So that has been Mighty Pang. The arcade version being played on an original Xbox using Coin Ops 6. So if you enjoy Pang, or maybe you hate it, Maybe you're just a fan of retro games and this game has has brought about some good nostalgic value and uh, opened up your your brain and you've remembered some classic games that you used to play. Let us know by leaving a comment. Just leave a comment. Love a comment. Gives us something to read while we're on the toilet. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time. See you later.